African guy is so rich that some of the biggest American stars like Akon, Sean Kingston, and Ludacris performed at his birthday party. He lives in a beachfront mansion, takes trips on his yachts, and flexes his lavish lifestyle on social media. Everyone is amazed by his wealth, but not many people know the dark secret behind his seemingly endless fortune. Because in order to live the way he does, he does something that no one in the world would dare do. This is Teodoran Nguma, and he was born in Equatorial Guinea. Since the day he was born, life treated him very well. His father wanted the best for him, so much so that he was sent to study in one of the top private schools in France and this university in Malibu. But he didn't live in a regular student dorm, nah. He lived in this ultra luxurious hotel where he was treated like a king. And you might be wondering where all his wealth comes from. Well, he is the son of Equatorial Guinea's president, but don't jump to conclusions yet because it turns out that not even the the salary of his father can pay for his insane lifestyle. And here's his dark secret. Equatorial Guinea is the third largest oil producing country in Africa and receives huge sums of money for it. But here's the thing, the huge chunk of that money doesn't really go to the people of that country. Instead, it funds Theodore's expensive lifestyle. Meanwhile, the people in this country live in terrible conditions. Many of them don't have electricity or clean drinking water in their homes. And when you take a shower, you need to use buckets, the, the actual shower doesn't work. Well suddenly things got a little bit complicated for him because when the world's anti-corruption authorities noticed his crazy spending, they investigated him for money laundering and fraud. And it turns out that outside of his country, he owned the most insane things, like a $27 million collection of luxurious cars, including Ferraris, Lambos, and Rolls Royces, or a magnificent mansion in Paris with 101 rooms valued at $177 million. And trust me, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Be easy come, easy go. He lost everything when he got caught. Around $237 million of assets were taken away from him in different countries. And all this money was supposed to be returned to the people of Equatorial Guinea. And you might think that after he was exposed internationally, this story would have a different ending. But that's not what happened. Even though part of the money recovered was used to buy the COVID-19 vaccines his country desperately needed, not everything was returned to the country because his family is still in power. In fact, his father won every election for more than four decades and not in the most honest ways. And what's even crazier is that he proclaimed his son the vice president. So now, he don't have to go to jail to this day. He still lives a lavish lifestyle. And believe it or not, he's even waiting for the moment when he can replace his father as the new president of his country.